Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we will see how we can add breadcrumbs in Divi. So why would you add breadcrumbs in Divi? Well it's amazing for SEO and it also enhances your site's user's experience. Alright so here is a demo uh, and before we begin I would like to tell that if you haven't bought Divi Supreme Pro yet you can buy it from the first link in the description of this video and that's an affiliate link and if you'll buy it from that link I'll get some small commission but you will not charge extra okay so this is how it looks these breadcrumbs and this is good for SEO and it's also good for your site's experience and navigation you can say so yeah you can also find more information on this page on their demo page so we'll just see how it works so here I am in my WordPress dashboard and I also have installed a DV Supreme Pro already and I'll just simply go and create a new page in a new tab. Okay, so let's just give it a title as modules like that uh, and just simply publish it. And uh, okay, so let's quickly create a new page because I want the breadcrumbs to be a little long. You will be, you will understand in a second let's add it dv breadcrumbs module and here under the page attributes we have to select a parent page which is this modules and then simply publish this page all right so now we can use the dv builder on this page All right, so as the page is empty, I'll just quickly load a layout from the DV library. Okay, so this one looks good. So let's add breadcrumbs to this layout. Oops. A few moments later. Okay, so it's importing and let's wait for it. All right, it's done and here we go. Okay, so what we will do here is add breadcrumbs on the on this place. Okay, so let's just add the breadcrumbs module. There it is. Before that, let me quickly move it to the top. And now, as you can see, it already looks cool, but we can now, obviously you can design it the way you like. So here is the option to have a custom home text. As you can see, if you disable it, it will show your site's title. So if you want to have a custom text to go back to homepage, and then you can enable this option. You can also check this option out, show home icon. If you want to show a home icon uh, with home link, then you can also enable this option and then choose an icon from the icon library. And you also got this custom separator icon. If you want to change the separator icon, uh, you can do that from here as well. All right, let's move to the design tab because we are here. As you can see, you can change the alignment and let's go to items and here we can design the items, uh, which means these links, these items, these are the items. And here we can add a background color, as you can see. So let's just add a, okay, let's make it transparent and uh, change the font. And then make it bold a little bit and then change the text color mm, I think this looks good you can also change the size the way you like but I would like to have it on default it looks good here and then you got these rounded corners options which means if you have added a background color you can add padding like that and some padding on left and right. As you can see, it's only affecting these items, not the current item. You can design the current item from this current panel from here. Okay, so and let me just make it transparent and remove the padding. It looks good here to me. And yeah, you can also add box shadow and stuff like that. But I just like to have it, it this way. And then we have this home icon panel. Here we can change the home icon color to whatever you like let's have it black and you can also change the size 
it looks good here a tank yep and if you go to the separator here you can design the step the separator right over here this small icon you can you can add change the background color separate the text size like that but i think it already looks cool to me all right and now let's move to the current tab and here you can design the current item on the page you current you are currently and uh, you can design that from here so we can change the color to let's say a little something like that so it indicates that this is the current page and that's it you have successfully enhanced your site's experience and increased your seo ranking it already has all the features that a breadcrumb should have so let's see how it looks on the front end as you can see this is the current page on which we are currently and this is the parent page that we have created before so if i click on it i will go to the page that we have recently created and this is the home page so that's it so what if you want to add it to your site globally well for that you can use a dv team builder and dv team builder is super duper useful in many situations like this one so use it the way you like use the dv team builder to add this to your site globally and enjoy and i hope you found this video helpful i just wanted to let you know that dv supreme has this module as well uh, it's the newly released module and uh, i loved it and uh, let me know what you think about it and don't forget to follow the first link in the description to buy a dv supreme pro it really helps me and have a great day peace out